My name is Brian Brewer, B-R-Y-A-N-B-R-E-W-E-R. And tell me about, you met with the governor today. Yes. Kind of what, what happened, a quick recap. Well, the, the governor agreed to meet with me, uh, and I'll start with that. Uh, but uh, he wanted it to be a secret meeting, wanted no, no one to know I was coming into town. Uh, there'd be no one but me and him and one of his staff members. Uh, the word got out that uh, I was coming to town. Uh, he was very upset about that. And the article, I didn't get to see the article, but uh, the article uh, tells how much money he receives from the liquor industry, uh, which is $96,000 he received from them so far. And he was very upset about that. As soon as I walked in, uh, one of the people asked if we could get a picture together. And he said, absolutely not. And then he went after me and he threw that papers on the table and he's upset about it. You know, and, uh, if it was a secret meeting, then that means there's a problem. If everything was good, everyone would know I'd be coming. But uh, I feel bad about it. I, as the head of my government, I was hoping to meet with uh, the head of the government from the state of Nebraska. And I was hoping that we'd be able to talk about some of the issues that we're having. He's been the governor for quite a few years. But I wanted to find out maybe some of the things that he tried or some of the things he may have planning uh, to help solve the problem. But he made it very clear that white clay is not his problem. It's my problem. Um, so he didn't want to discuss anything. Uh, he's pointing his finger at me and saying different things. And, you know, so after about two minutes, I, I had to leave the meeting. I just walked out of the meeting. It was, uh, and that's too bad. Uh, it isn't what I wanted. It wasn't why I came all the way down here for. Uh, but I'd like to say, you know, I am coming back to Lincoln. Uh, we have our brothers down here. We have four tribes down here. Uh, I need to work with them. We need to show our unity. We need to support each other. And, uh, you know, we have the Indian Commission uh, that the governor has. I'd like to work with them. Uh, and talk about our issues, maybe some possibilities, different things that we could do. So no matter what happened today, I, I still have to remain optimistic uh, that we can, something can happen. I realize it won't come from the governor though. And hopefully the, you know, the good people in Nebraska will ask the governor and the legislators, you know, something should be done there. Because our people are dying and it isn't the people from Pine Ridge. I think that we're also, they should say our people are dying up there, you know, no matter what, if we're Indian or not Indian. Their people are dying up there also, you know, so it's, it's a very sad situation. But this has been going on so long that uh, the people are tired of protesting. And this is what I wanted to tell him. And I did tell him that, you know, we're, we're tired, we're tired, we're tired of this, you know. And, and I'm so afraid something's going to happen. And I worry about the safety of our people, I worry about the safety of the people in Nebraska. Uh, but doesn't seem to be a concern of the governor at this time. So. You say that you, you're going to stay optimistic, but yeah. it, it has to be challenging. I it mean, is challenging. To it is I can't give up, though. I can't yeah. give up. I just have to continue to, to do what I feel is right. Uh, and I can't let one person stop me. One of the positive things, I got to meet with the Senator Chambers this morning. So that was, that was nice. And uh, he gave me encouragement. Uh, and you know when I'm here with uh, Frank Lemire, that really helped also, you know. Uh, so I got a lot of encouragement and good words from those uh, two gentlemen. So I'm going to continue the fight and um, can't give up. Ideally, what, what would you like to see from the governor in a, in a perfect world? Well, in a perfect world, I believe that there's ways that he could close White Clay. There's ways, and I was I wanted to, to bring a couple proposals of maybe a good way that we could do it, but he didn't want to hear those things. And, He's saying I can't do anything. The way he's going to deal with us is the National Guard and more Highway Patrol, and that isn't what we need. Is there anything else that you want to say that no. I haven't asked? No, I, that's, I think I said enough today. Thank you. Thank you.